of was. My thoughts had become very slow. I couldn't think at all. I couldn't get my thoughts together. I can never quite get it together. The trouble was, I couldn't even look where I was going. I couldn't look to the left or the right. I had to look straight in front of me. Because if I turned my head wrong, I couldn't keep upright. And I had these headaches. I used to sit in my room. That was when I lived with my mother and my brother. This is when I'd been taken away to a man of higher distinction. He was a doctor. Um, and he said that I had this thing in my brain that we were going to do tests on. He loaded up the papers. What are you going to do to my brain? I asked him. But he had repeated what he'd said. When I wasn't a fool, I knew I was a minor. I knew he couldn't do anything to my brain without getting my mother's permission. So I wrote to her and told them what they were going to do to my brain. She signed their form, you see, giving them full permission. I realised that because I saw her signature at the bottom of the form. Before that day, I had laid everything out in order in my room. All the things I knew that were mine. But I didn't die. The thing is, I should have been dead. I should have died. feel much, much better now. I steer clear of places like that cafe. I never go into them now. I don't talk to people like that. I've often thought of going back, try and find the man who did that to me. But I want to do something first. I want to build that shed out in the garden.